Now, when it comes to installing a power supply, now I'm going to show you the actual installation in the lesson where we actually build a computer. And I will tell you there's not much to it. More often than not, it's a matter of sliding it into a chassis and, if anything, screwing in four or six screws to hold it in place. And that's really all you should ever be doing with it. But what you do need to pay attention to is making sure that you're installing the correct power supply. And so what do you want to pay attention to? Well, number one, you want to pay attention to the wattage. Different power supplies are rated for a different amount of workload. And what you want to do is you want to look at all the various devices that you're going to be supplying power to and look at how many watts they require. And when you add that all up, make sure you have a power supply big enough. And when I say big enough, I don't mean physically big enough, wattage big enough. But speaking of physically big enough, size, that's the other thing. Now, in most desktop computers, we've gotten to the point that power supplies are a fairly standard size, and it's not that big a deal. But you do still need to pay attention because they're not guaranteed to all fall into that one standard size. Okay, Certain boxes are oversized. Maybe they're designed for high-end servers, and you need to have a bigger physical power supply, typically, and not, although not always, the larger the physical size is, the larger the wattage is going to be as well. All right, so you want to make sure that you have the right sized power supply to fit into your box. You want to pay attention to the number and selection of connectors. Right, Make sure that you have uh, the selection that you need as far as Molex versus SATA. Make sure you have the right motherboard connector and, and things like that. But make sure you have enough of them. If you know that you're buying a power supply for a computer that has six hard drives in it, well, then you're going to need to make sure that you have enough connectors for those six hard drives. Now, I will also tell you that there are expansion connectors where they're kind of like splitters where you plug in one and then it becomes two uh, or three additional connectors. And that's fine, but the one thing you want to keep in mind is that usually the power supply, its rating in wattage is going to also then dictate the number of connectors based upon an estimate of the knowledge of the types of devices you typically would connect to and what types of connectors they're going to require. So... You want to be careful if you're using those splitters because you can overwork the power supply and burn it out a lot faster than it otherwise would. And then uh, the last thing is the form factor of the motherboard, which really relates kind of to the number and selection of connectors. You want to make sure you have a power supply with the right motherboard connector. So it kind of relates. Really just kind of the three items, I guess.